Hello there and welcome. In this episode, we're going to start working on a system that I've been planning to do for a long time and I'm talking about the water system. So we're going to start by adding water into our game and then we're also going to learn how we can do different things with the water. For example, to swim, to dive and to fish. But first of all, we need to have water in our game. For this, we're going to use this very good asset that we can find on the asset store, this stylized water shader. It's very customizable. You can create different styles of water and it's very easy to set up. So first of all, of course, you need to download it and then open it in Unity. And after it was downloaded and added to Unity, you can simply click on import and it will import the files into your project. Then you're going to find this BitGem folder and this is just the name of the developer. And inside you're going to find different scripts and different materials. Now we don't get any prefabs with this package, so we need to create them ourselves. In order to create some kind of water source in our game, we're going to start by creating a lake. And I clear the space over here, I remove the grass, and we're going to add some kind of lake. The easiest way will be to lower the terrain and create some kind of hole, and then it will basically be the lake, and we're going to fill it with water. So all you need to do is click on this area over here, and then you need to find the set height tool, and over here we can set the height. Now you need to understand that the terrain starts at zero. So if your entire terrain is at zero, you won't be able to lower it beyond that. You cannot go into negative values. So what you can do is simply make your entire terrain a bit higher. You can set the height to something like 10 and then just paint the entire terrain. So it will be at 10. And then when your entire terrain is set to the height of 10, you can create these holes by just changing the height to be five and it will paint these holes and you can go deeper by setting it to zero. But if everything is at zero, you cannot go lower than that. So this area over here is about five and height. So I'm simply going to set it to be zero and then I'm going to set the brush. You can use any kind of brush. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to click and drag and it's going to create this kind of area for the lake. Now you can see that the edges are a bit rough, so I can also select smooth height and then simply go over the edges over here and it's going to make it a bit smoother. Now it's not very deep, but when we're going to add the water, we're not going to even see the area over here, so it will get this feeling that it's much deeper. But of course, if you want to also swim inside and you want this to be very deep, you need to start with a higher height and then just make the height lower. So for example, if we would paint over here and we set it at zero, we can get a very deep lake, right? And just fill it up with water and then we could swim down over there. But at this point, we're only going to have this shallow lake that will still look a bit deep because we're not going to see the ground. So now that we have this lake area over here, we want to add water into it. And the way we're going to do this is by creating some kind of cube and then adding the water to it. So we basically add all the different scripts from this asset pack that we got and it will transform this cube into a water source. So first of all, we are going to add an empty cube and then we're going to remove the box collider because we don't need it. And we're going to leave the size as it is for now. Then we are going to rename the cube to be water volume. And we need to add several scripts from the asset pack. Now we don't have to go inside the pack and drag these scripts. We can simply find them over here. So the first one is water transform. So simply type in water and you're going to find this water volume transforms. The other one is the water volume helper. Next, we need to add this reference over here. So simply click on the water transforms and drag it into the water helper. At this point, we're not going to see any kind of changes over here. And that's just because we need to add a material into this cube. And we can find this material inside the asset pack that we downloaded. So we're going to open the BitGem 
asset pack and we're going to open the materials folder. Now all of this will be ping because it's still not converted into URP. Simply press and hold on control and then select all of them, go to edit, render pipeline, universal render pipeline and upgrade selected materials to URP. And then it's going to upgrade them. They're still going to stay pink and that's just a small bug that Unity has, but now they are converted and you can know this by going to the actual material and see that it doesn't show in pink. Now we're simply going to click on the water volume again and drag one of these materials into this slot. And the one that I like most and the one that actually fits the style of our game is the example number three. So we're going to take it and drag it into this slot. Now we still need to do something to make it visible on the map. For this, we're going to add an empty object into this water volume as a child, and we're going to increase the size to something like 50 and 50. And then in order to actually see the changes, we're going to play a bit with the tile size slider, and we can see the water appearing. So simply play around with it and then place it back at one and you're going to be able to see the water. So now we can see that it's not exactly in the middle. So simply move it and place it in the middle. You can lower it and then you can increase the size. So simply drag it so it will fit into this area and you can lower it so it will actually show you the edges and then drag it over here and over here and now we can see that it fits perfectly inside of this area and everything else is not visible because it's under the terrain so it doesn't really matter that it's not perfectly inside now we can also increase the size so we can change the y value and this is especially relevant if you have a deeper hole and you want to fill this entire hole and now you can see that it actually fills the lake and even now it looks good. We can see these small cuts over here, but when we zoom in, they disappear. And again, you can play around with the terrain. For example, you can click on the terrain and smooth it a bit more. And you can make it look the way you want to. Now at this point we can run the game and we're going to have water. But the good thing about this asset pack is that it's very customizable. So all we need to do is click on the water volume and go over here and we can see that the material has a lot of different values. We can play around with almost everything. So I already played around with these values and I found something that looks good. For you, you're going to get another color for the shallow color, so you can simply change it to be this one if you like it. If not, you can just make it like another darker blue, but I think this fits more the ocean and not a lake, so that's why I'm using this dark green. And of course, you can also change the color for the deep, and that's the main color. You can also play around with the alpha, and this will give it a transparent effect. So if you want your game to be a bit more realistic, you can make it much more transparent and then you're going to see what is actually inside of the water. But I like it this style, so I'm going to set it to be something like this, maybe 200 on the alpha. And this is the color that I'm using. Of course, you can change the color. You can also make it like a lava lake or something like that. But we're going to use this blue variant. And these are the values that I'm using. Of course, you can change them. For example, if you don't like this much foam over here, you can simply go to deep foam and play around with this. You can remove it. You can make it very noticeable, right? So I'm just going to leave it the way it was. So again, you can copy these values or you can play around and find your own values. Maybe you don't like this refraction, so you can simply change the refraction strength or the bump strength. I don't remember, you can see. Now it's very visible and now at zero, it's very smooth. 
So that's basically all. We don't need to do anything else. You can still play around with this. Of course, if you have some kind of river, you're going to draw this river hole and then you're going to create some kind of long cube that is going to fill this entire river. Now, if you want to create some kind of floating water effect, you need to start playing around with these things and you need to figure out how to do this. Maybe in the future, I'm also going to add rivers and we're going to see together how to do this. Now if we start and run the game, we can see that we have some nice water. Of course, we can also enter into the water, but now it doesn't really feel like we're swimming, so we need to add something for the gravity and maybe add some kind of underwater effect. But it's something we're going to deal with later. For now, we have this lake and it looks very nice. And in the next episodes, we're going to start adding more features to work with this water. Swimming, fishing, maybe we're going to have a boat that we can just sail over there to the middle and then fish in the middle of the lake. So it's really up to you what you want to do with water, but we can see that it's really easy to add it. And now we have water in our game. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're still not subscribed. Please leave a like, it will help me a lot. And I'll see you next time.